So here's a match that I've played from the first person perspective. It's going to be Vampire Coast against Chaos, and today I'm showcasing my extremely refined Kite build. As the battle starts right off the bat, you can see my priority is instantly focused on those Marauder Horsemen. The gun bats move forwards, and they're going to be picking away at the mobility of Chaos, specifically targeting the dogs at the moment. But as the Marauder Horsemen get close, I immediately retarget to them to take them out. The Marauder Horsemen do advance to get a few shots towards my bats, but a simple pullback actually negates almost all of the damage. Now the general idea of this build is to kill off all of the Chaos mobility before heading on into the late game where I finish off all their infantry with my gun bats. Now the Sirens running into the Forsaken, you can see this is a pretty big misplay as my Sirens do take. Uh, about half of their HP and damage. I see this happening and I do decide to disengage with them. And even though they did stall out the infantry for a bit, it definitely would have been better to go for a zombie summit. You can see in game I have the same thought and I throw down that zombie summon now, specifically the Winds of Magic version, to stall them out. Meanwhile, up north, you can see most of my micro for this build is actually being committed to microing my gun bats and stalling out the rest of the forces. I'm not microing Noctilus or the Gunnery Whites as much. And you can see here, it does help pay off since I do manage to route off these Marauder Horsemen without spending too much ammunition. This gives me a nice mobility advantage, but there are still two horsemen. Chaos Infantry, they are rather slow, so I'm just focusing a little bit to retreat and then immediately right back to microing my gun bats. Now in the meantime, taking stock of the general battle now, you can see that the Marauder Horsemen near the middle of the screen are pretty dwindled now. There's only two left, so I do feel comfortable having only one bat firing at them, but as soon as they push up, I do retreat since it would be a pretty bad trade otherwise. So Thoriel also pushing pretty aggressively. I target him down with the Gunnery Whites, just in case uh, he does go into melee, so I would be able to win that fight. Now at the bottom of the screen, you can see a bit of a lapse of micro where I overchase Sir Thoriel, but thankfully I realize this and retreat. And then once again, bouncing back to the back. Now, very nicely, as you saw right there, the Marauder Horseman did get routed off uh, actually shattered having routed off three times and if you're able to actually uh, continue pressuring Marauder Horsemen and chase them off the map that's actually a really nice strategy for this matchup since you save a lot of ammo on your deck droppers. Now important point to note the Marauder Horsemen are the biggest threat to me so I'm focusing them down and finishing them off more importantly rather than chasing Sartorial with my minor mobility advantage. At this point you can see my general micro for the gun bats is diminished pretty greatly. And the reason is because we are now close to the edge of the map. If I continue running in the direction I do, I will eventually get cornered and uh, just completely overrun by the forces of chaos. I do not have a strong enough fighting infantry force at all. I also eat a pretty big final transmutation. It's going to be hitting all my single entities and the sirens. It's going to be getting a lot of value on Sarthorial. At the moment, uh, the best thing I can do really is just uh, tank it and heal up my forces. Meanwhile, uh, the continued cycle charging of the Sirens to slow down units is really nice. And as the dogs actually get committed, I land a few of my bats to try and get them to route off the map. It is a little bit unfortunate that the terror route completely gets the dogs off of the battlefield. Uh, but this is sort of just the nature of, of having kited into this position. Meanwhile, the Rotting Prometheans, the sort of slowest force in my army, they are trying to retreat in between those two rocks there. It will be a little bit difficult to squeeze through, but they are still fairly fast, about the same speed as Forsaken, so they will actually manage to escape. And with that, the game is basically over. Chaos does not have any way to deal with the bats. I'll go ahead and speed up the ending here. And I have more or less infinite ammunition to take out their entire army. Also important to note, the Chaos infantry can't really catch up to my guys now, since they're no longer pinned up against the wall. So I could essentially run infinitely 
I just turn around here as a simple mercy. Now if you enjoyed the game overview, you can see me do the same thing live in my other videos. Check them out if you're at all interested. Special thanks to my patrons too, Red Wedding Planner, Roman Cool, and Bibbling Tent too for supporting the latter where I played this match.